Hello everyone, this is a tutorial that I've made for building map events in Railroad Tycoon 3. Actually, the focus of this is on buying territory rights because the built-in version of the editor, I don't know about the map builder, which I've not been able to find, but the built-in editor has a bug or two in how this is implemented. So anyway, here are the territories we're looking at in the north and eastern U.S. and a so-called zombie USA map. I'll probably never finish this map, but I'm doing this as a demonstration. So you can buy the rights for New Jersey in that territories menu for 10 million. And here are some other events in the events menu. All of these are under that uh, second preferences menu over on the left of the screen in the editor as you saw earlier. And this covers a lot of stuff. I mean you can see the, the menu on the left there. So events are only one of these. Anyway each event has a condition that triggers it and then an effect. The problem is it can only um, display one set of text and it will be specifically assigned to a company, a player, or a territory, or potentially the whole game. And so there are some issues in cases where there is crossover, which there almost always is. So I've built a new event there. This will be a choice, of course, because we're buying a territory. We're buying the rights to a territory. I'm going to trigger it just by a date. So February of 2050, because this scenario is set in the future equals 2050 02 so there's our uh, condition there's our choice and we write in Donald Trump the fourth wants to sell you the rights to New Jersey for a lower price of a hundred thousand dollars So there I'm writing it in. $100,000. And then, you know, some kind of yes answer. And then some kind of no answer. And of course, you can have three or four potential answers if you want to, or potential choices which is an improvement from Railroad Tycoon 2 where you could only have two. But as we'll see, there are some complexities and bugs in Railroad Tycoon 3. Now choice 2 will have no effect. Choice 1 will reduce company cash by $100,000 obviously. So I'll put that in as one of the effects. Now that actually means we should clarify the choice. So I'll write in that Donald Trump, you know, wants to know if your company wants to buy rights to New Jersey. So we'll test it against human companies only. Now the second effect will be New Jersey is made available. So that's tested against territories. Here's the problem. All of these are tested against the same thing and you can't do them simultaneously we get this message if we run event validation. So what's the solution? The solution is actually a workaround that the developers built in where you force it to test against companies, players, or territories. In this case we'll force it to test against territories and companies. Now, you still have to tell it what you want, though, manually. So, we test against the player's company and New Jersey. You have to do the same thing for the effect. 
Now, this will be a one-time only event because it's only for February 2050. So you have the option of both when you use the force feature. And we'll apply the effects only once just to make sure it's not duplicated. Like we don't pay 200000 or something like that. So we exit. Now you always have to remember to save because when you leave that sub preferences window, that doesn't automatically save. And the only way to test really effectively is to actually play the scenario. This scenario, of course, is unfinished, but we can test that feature of it because it's only in the second month of the scenario. So there's the briefing. And we go to New Jersey. Not that we have to, but it just makes it easier to see everything. Now this affects a company, so we have to start a company even though we're not going to build any track for this test. So we start the company. And then we check the territories. We do not have access to New Jersey, as you can see. So we speed up the game. And there's Donald Trump, or Donald Trump the fourth. And we say yes, and we have access to New Jersey. Now, I don't know how old Donald Trump the fourth would be in 2050, but Donald Trump the third would be older and would probably have the actual money in the family. And it would probably be angry at his son for not demanding more money. So we are going to add a newspaper article talking about the family spat. So uh, for this, we use a company variable. This is in line with the Railroad Tycoon 2 setup. I'm going to make it for a limited time, only one month, so that that variable is cleared after this event so that we can reuse it. Now, to keep the events together, we'll say access to New Jersey 2 for the name of this event. And this is one of the irritating things is that you, if you're going to have more than one effect, you often have to run more than one event. Now there's a little automated feature. Notice I put in open brackets and it gave me the option of putting in the company name automatically in the newspaper headline. That way you don't have to know the code of the game by heart. You can open brackets and see what's available. Subheadline, you know, Donald Trump III is angry and so on. Now, also, we will check the condition at the end of the month instead of the beginning of the month to make sure that we don't run over that one-month deadline. So in a second, I'll go, what, as soon as I'm done typing this, I'll go up to monthly, end of month. Now the condition, of course, we can't forget the condition. Otherwise, this will never trigger. So we add the trigger condition. And the trigger condition is the company variable 1 which will be 1, has to be tested against the player's company, of course, we check for errors, there are no errors. So, this means we can test, except for that, oh sorry. effects. I forgot to mention effects, but there are no effects. So we just bought the territory rights and then we get the newspaper headline. So that's it. Thanks for watching.